God dang, slaying monsters out here. Guys, we got a good one. Oh. <laughs> Wake up. It's time to go fishing. I brought extra socks. <laughs> Spot number one. Turn with some top water. Obvious choice. They're probably in post spawn, but maybe if I I can't see any beds actually, it's all chocolate milk again. All right, we're into the second cove. It's about seven eleven. Seven eleven. This is where I had some night. First cast had a blow up, first bite of the day, and I missed it just like last time. I have a history of missing these topwater fish by these reeds. Did not expect first cast, blow up. First fish of the day is a giant, guys. Monster. Oh, and I lost him. He was like seven inches. Maybe eight, nine, I don't know, but it was not a 12 inch fish. Well, at least I got a bite. So we're moving in the right direction. Sure, would have been nice to land it, but you know, it is what it is. Don't cry over lost dinks. Technically still skunks. The technicality. I might check that spot out though. She'd love it when people blare music all the way across the lake. Because you came to the lake to hear their music. <clears throat> well, you may notice I'm not on the kayak right now. I parked it after losing another little dink. Didn't really lose it. I he bounced in the boat. I didn't touch him though. Bounced in the boat, flopped out. He was a tiny 12 incher. And I lost one over there in the grass on the wacky rig. So now I'm in this little cove where the boats can't go. I see a couple little fish swimming up over here. One keeps jumping over here. So I lost, felt like a decent one there. Two dinks over here where these splashes are. I have a wacky rig and a Texas rig, sorry spider. No, oh, they're shallow. I'm trying to get to that, but maybe I can't from right here. Or maybe I can. Already gotten wet, so just dipping the rocks through the blackberries. Yada yada. There's two cruising really shallow here. 
pull things super shallow. But I did have, there was some fish blowing up right there. And there's an isolated patch right there. And at least there's active bass now. Not much was going on this morning. Lost him. No, no shot, man. I'm using a lure that is, w I mean, a rod that's way too flimsy. And that was a good bass. I just didn't think there was any good bass back here, and I'm using a flimsy rod. Gosh, damn it. That looked like a good fish. Now it's not gonna bite. Guys, why? Why would I do that to myself? I set myself up for failure. Oh. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh, okay. Well, that is not a giant, but that might be a measurable fish. Oh. Maybe. We'll see. We will see. Normally I wouldn't waste my time with it, but since I don't have any fish currently, I might as well check. Oh. That one that jumped definitely was. Even a 12 inch fish. You are just barely a 12 inch fish. But you know what? We're just gonna take a picture of it. Okay? Oh, look at that 12 and a quarter. Baby fish. Alright, baby fish. Well, whatever. Well, we're on the board at 12 and a quarter. <laughs> God dang, slaying monsters out here. All right, probably pack up, head back to the yak. People that yell profanities constantly in public, why? Especially in front of your kids? Got it, on the flimsy rod. Probably isn't the one that jumped off, but it is a bigger one than a 12 incher. So, picture time. That was a 14. My phone stuck in my pocket. God, I always have so much fun out here. Doing photos. Trust me. I like the photos probably less than you, dude. Alright. 14 inch here. Let's get back at it, see so we can dig up. Fish. 
was swimming at me. I don't think that's a keeper. Thanks for getting that off, buddy. Don't worry, little fish taco dude. Come here, you. Little 10, 11 inch picked it up. I just stopped feeling the weight. It was swimming towards me. Well, I guess this little guy deserves some love too. He swallowed it pretty good. That's what happens when I wasn't paying attention. And this guy's trying to swallow my bait. Well, get the pliers and get him back in. Guys, I got a good one. Decent one. I thought I snagged. Oh! On the jig in like three feet of water. Man! All right, I feel much better. Holy cow, it's like a two, three quarters, three pounder. Now that's a fish I can feel proud of taking a picture of. He was not going anywhere. On the jig. On the jig. Let's not lose the fish, but also not our rod, you know? You're a long fish, holy cow. No way, dude. You're a big fish. I need you to stop puffing up, but I need this guy. It's a 19 inch fish. Once he, you know, comes down, oh, 18 and a half, 18. 18 and a half. All right, guys. 18 and a half on the jig. All right. It snagged like the last two casts. Literally snagged. Made, okay, made a couple, a couple other casts. And then bam. I got one, but I really honestly thought that that was just gonna be cattails. And then finally I got, I got it free of the, uh, I literally tried to like pull it out of the weeds and then my line changed direction. All right, we're gonna just stick with the jig for a little bit. The sluggy thing about that is I didn't have as much time to be excited until the very end thinking that I was snagged. Well, my optimism has gone way up. And, forgot to mention, our hydration break is on an island. And there's two islands on Lake Francis. This is a small one. I haven't really explored the big one. I've been in this one before. Only thing you gotta look out for is poison oak. Cast to the toolies right here. And then I'll come back and hit them on the outside though. I'm gonna stretch my legs out on the kayak. This stuff. Poison oaky. Poison oak. Be spotted bass. <clears throat> nice little guy. Let's see how long he has. 
Long enough. Oh yeah, he's got that rough tongue. Oh. Well, it wasn't that big, but. <laughs> if I still wanted that picture of him on there. He's a 14. Uh, a couple, couple dinks, lost a two pounder or more. And I caught one, almost three. Yeah, so that was the highlight of the, the day. And then I pulled the spot out of the rocks there. My highlight though was uh, I caught a sunfish last night. Yeah? It was like two pounds or more. Seriously? Yeah, it was insane. It's like literally more than 12 pounds. <laughs> That's a monster. Yeah. Caught me by surprise. I thought it was like a four pound bass the way it fought. Yeah. Oh, I have a very upset fish in the boat. Don't blame him. I watched him come out and eat it and I set the hook just in time because he almost swallowed it almost swallowed it I don't know if he's even 12 but we're gonna check can I get a picture of this oh well, I caught him. Kind of. There he is. <coughs> He's a 12. And like I always say, better to have a pitcher and not need it. Especially since I lost the 14. All right. Angry 12 inch bass. And in this little creek arm. Oh, actually, it's not really a creek, it's a runoff. I heard a bigger bubble oh, like splash. I've caught some in here before. But there's a little drain behind me. I'll put a link at the top. The last time I was fishing this spot, so you guys can get a good idea of what it, this spot is. I'm gonna hit where I started one more time. And then probably call it a day out here. It's been rough on me. It's been rough. I expected it to go easier than it did, which you should never do. I'm missing out on some of this fighting though, but there we go, another 12 inch or so. Just don't want to risk losing them again. <laughs> Vicious little guy. 13 and a quarter. Not much better, but hey, I'll take it. That's a fish. Okay, well, it's pinned at least. That was a punch fish. cool as soon as it went through the weeds smashed it got the hook good but then you got pinned you got pinned in those bushes all right probably another 13 
Yep, 12.75. Okay. This ornery little bugger. All that fight of a 12.75. Okay. That was fun though. That was a fun bite. Wish combo Texas rig. But of course, it's stuck in the grass. Boop. Pitch time. Oh, I run. See if you are any better than anything. You don't look terrible. Are you a 13? I don't know. That's a close one. Alright. Let's look at him. Not bad. Got him out with the wish combo. We're gonna call it. We got an hour drive back. We'll do a little recap at the truck once we get all back up. All right, guys. 3:40. We're off the water in the truck. Loaded up. Uh, just about to head home. And a quick recap for the day, man. That was not how I expected it to go. Uh, I ended up wasting like an hour and a half, two hours trying to get a top water bite. I got two blow ups and no commits. I didn't get anything for a while. Then I got a tiny little dink on a spinner bait and it popped off when I hit the boat, but uh, the kayak, but that was fine. I didn't want it. It was like 10 inches or less. And then uh, another dink or two lost. And then I lost like a two pounder, uh, at least two, two, three. I jumped off to look at the footage but that was my fault i didn't really set the hook and i was using a very flimsy rod so like the best i could have done was at least like yank up hard like you see those <laughs> people who set them way too hard uh, do because of it's such a flimsy rod but then uh, i did end up getting like about a three pound bass it was 18 and a half so i got that uploaded to the tournament caught a couple between 12 and 13s i had a four uh, got 14 and then i had a second 14 spot and that sucker spiked me and flopped out of the kayak before I got the picture. So hopefully I won't need those anyway because 14 inch bass are pretty small. But in any tournament, you just want to get your first five on the board and then worry about living in from there. And I got the rest of the month. We got about three weeks left. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see how it goes. Drop a like, comment. Let me know what your uh, biggest mistake was out on the water before. I'd like to hear about it. Let's see what we can dig up next time.